The latest television report, ladies and gentlemen, statewide with 60% of the vote in statewide. We have Mac Mullen, 236,000, Wallace, 263,000. <laughs> We have our good friend, the Judge Cole, that brought us in a report over here. He did carry Otago County. Mike Mullen, 33-38. Wallace, 39-47. We have an unofficial total for Franklin County. Mike Mullen, 33-66. Wallace, 68-37. Excuse me, Montgomery County is supposedly a total count in Montgomery County, unofficial total count in Montgomery County. Wallace, 18,000, McMillan, 28,000. We lost by right at 10,000 votes in Montgomery County according to the unofficial tabulation. <laughs> And it is George Wallace, because it might go uh, 50 points for one for Wallace and 49.9 for uh, uh, George McMillan. And so that's the really well. So just wait for some really good screaming. That's all we need, you know. And I think we're okay. That George McMillan is going to win this thing. Now, they are basing that on uh, close to polling interviews. People have gone in and talked to them afterwards. But... Uh, uh, so far, it's a very delicious one. Dillon, 36-84, Wallace, 53-72.
gentlemen there have two good pieces of news. Which one do you want first? They're both good. ABC in Madison County at Huntsville, Alabama says they are 30, they are 15 minutes ahead of everyone else's, and they have declared Governor Wallace a winner. Hey, has anybody out there tonight seen Mr. Ray Evans? If you do, I want to see him a minute. Where is Mr. Ray? Bob, Bob who and Ray who? And the people up here have all worked together, and we're just so happy we can't stand it tonight. But thank you all much for coming and staying. The governor will be in a little bit. It seems that we have won the race for governor of Alabama. That is, we have, we have, that is, that is, we have won the Democratic, Alabama's Democratic nomination. I want to congratulate uh, George McMillan for running a very fine race as a young man. And I want to say that, of course, he is a young man, has many years yet to be involved, I'm sure, in public life. But I want to congratulate him and his fine family for 
the hard race they ran because I can tell you he's really a tough opponent. And I certainly and I and, and I and I certainly respect him for, for being a tough opponent. And uh, I would like to call on uh, all of those who supported him that are Alabama Democrats to help us because the election is not over. We, we're not governor yet. We're going to be governor in November uh, because we've got to win the general election. And, uh, and um, all, I want to thank, I'm very humbled by this win. I want to thank my wife and all of my family. And I also want to, I want to, I want to thank the broad mass of Alabama citizenry of black and white for the support they've given to me in this nomination uh, race in which we won. And I want to say also that I am humbled by this win. And I even said tonight, if I did not win, I would be disappointed. But I would not be disappointed in the people of Alabama, for they have been so good to me. They have done so much for our family and put more confidence in us than they have in any family in Alabama's history as far as the political arena is concerned. And therefore, I am very grateful and I owe every minute of my mortal life to support Alabama and try to help her as she moves along during this recession period, whether I'm governor or not. But I want to say this. We also beat the Republican Party today in Alabama. I don't, I'm sure that I want to say that I'm not reflecting upon uh, Lieutenant Governor George McMillan. I would have glad, been glad to have got any vote that wanted to vote for me, whether the Republican or not. Therefore, I'm not criticizing him at all. I'm uh, sure that uh, I would have accepted them had they wanted to give them to me. But I want to tell you that they went in the primary today with express purpose of voting Republican in November and voting against George Wallace because they did not want him as an opponent. But I want to tell the, the special interest in Alabama, the special money interest crowd in this state who tries to run politics, but they can't run it when Governor Wallace is a governor. And, and, uh, and we, and so I want to say to the Republicans who had a uh, I believe a thousand dollar couple or something the other night uh, uh, dinner when people in this state uh, are doing without food and without jobs and hungry and of course I don't think that they are going to be given control of Alabama uh, during the next four years and I'm not sure of that. Because I've said this, of course, I me meant no criticism of President Ford. He is one of the finest, most likable men I have ever known, and I'm certainly glad that he visited Alabama again. But I want to say this, that I hope that Mr. Reagan, who is a Republican president, I sincerely hope that the things that he does and recommends finally turn out to do something with this country and put it back on the move upward again. I do not care who gets the credit whether they are Republican or Democrat. I want our country on the people working. I don't want to see people hungry. I don't want to see people cold and the, but it looks like to me in this country today that the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. I do, I do not, I do, I do not mean that I'm against anyone accumulating wealth. But I, I think you know what I'm talking about. I think the broad mass of Alabamians tonight who have supported me, you have come through again, and I want you to know that I can never thank you. I can never repay the people of Alabama. Again, I want to thank my family who stood by me all these years, uh, my children, my wife, my grandchildren, my mother, my brothers, my sisters, my in-laws, and all of you who are actually members of the Wallace family who are out there tonight. So my friends, you, 
you, you good people out in Alabama who are watching this tonight and listen to me, remember we have not won the governorship. We've only won the nomination. You must go out and vote uh, uh, the, in the first Tuesday after the first Monday, whatever date that is, in November, because that's when the governor's election is, and that's when we're going to put the second defeat to the Republicans in Alabama uh, in November. Uh, so thank you. Well, my friends, thank you very much. May God bless Alabama. As I said many times during the campaign, that I believe that the Lord's been very good to our country and to our state. And I think that maybe we should turn back to some of the moral values with good 100 years ago that are good today. But the moral decay and decline I see in our country, I don't think is very pleasing to anyone. So let us remember that we live in a great state. It has a reputation of being part of the Bible Belt. I'm glad of that. It also has a rep it has the reputation of also supporting folks in office who believe in standing up for the average citizen in Alabama, black and white. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you, Governor, and thank you much, very much, ladies and gentlemen. We have plenty of Wallace Bubba stickers starting tomorrow morning. Just come out and we'll put on all you want. Taylor, you say you want to say a word or two? Taylor wants to say a word or two. This is Lisa's fine young son. Well, I don't know about this, but... Talk loud, darling. Well, why don't we just get him in the governor's office? I know we haven't won the race. Yeah, but it, you know, it, it's not important it's if we've won the race. It's how you play the game. taking Jefferson County so long to get their results in. That's about a third of the county. But if we can continue to hold the kind of trend that we've held here, we are definitely not out. So y'all stick around. Let's try to ride this thing out all the way.
Thank you very much. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I am a person who believes in telling the truth. And <laughs> yesterday, I held press conferences across this state, and when asked how I thought this election would turn out,